a slight variant of the Dunkeld. The difference basically is that it's going to have a palmered hackle instead of a, just a throat hackle and as well I'm going to add some blue J as I throw it. The hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 10. Now you could tie this in quite a few sizes, up, up to about 6s down to 14s, whatever you want. Now the thread I'm using is a Uni 80 in black. What we do here is just simply put a layer of thread down the shank all the way along to get to this point here, just as it goes around the bend, and then remove the base piece. For the tail, I'm just going to use Golden Pheasant Crest. It's dyed, I've actually dyed this a fluorescent yellow just to brighten it up. Get a wee bit, wee bit extra. Length of the tail. Watch the length of the hook. Just hold the tail on your finger and thumb. Now the first turn I do, second turn, I usually lay on straight onto the bare hook. Like that, heading down the way. Just get it to sit the way you want. It doesn't have to be sitting up like a cockatoo, like just that's enough. Just for colour. Length why looking length of the body there. Just where you're going to tie in the throat. Because it's got a gold body you've really got to a nice smooth base for your for your tinsel. Your rib. This is a small gold wire. Steady or not, you could use an oval tinsel if you want. Uh, I just feel the the wire is much stronger, lasts a bit longer. Now for the body, this is the gold holographic, and this is a large or the wide. Let's catch that on the side. And then, nice and tight, touch and turns, just work your thread all the way up, just building your body up. Take your time at this point, because you've got to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now you stop about a mil and a half, two mil from the eye, and then bring a gold tinsel up, just slightly overlapping your last turn, just working your way up. And then across your thread, two or three turns to secure, and take away your excess. And what I would do here is tidy up, take your thread down to the eye, and then come back up. Now for the, you could, for the body, you could use a saddle hackle. Cock saddle hackle dyed in orange. Or in this case, I'm just using a Chinese nice bright orange. Really, what they would normally say is a burnt orange. It's really strong. Just offer it to the side and tighten by the bottom of the hackle. Remove the waste. And then I like to use a hackle plier in this case so we can see exactly where I'm laying down the hackle. Work your way down. And this is quite a large fly, so don't be shy of a nice hackle on it. Now you're looking four turns down the body, and then bring your rib up through as quick as you can. The quicker you can come up, the better. Remove the tip of the hackle, and then come in. 90 degree bend into the wire. And then just work your thread down to the eye, bend and break your wire off. And then come up. Now this fly is for sea trout, it's slightly bigger. I mean you will take brown trout on it. It's got a nice tapered shape to it. It's more a minnow type shape. You see that nice? That's what you're looking for. As I said, to throw it with some blue jay. Now you will mark further if you can, just bring some fibres out, just line them up and then tear them from the feather. All I do then is offer it to the underside of the hook. Now you're looking for the length, to the, just to the point, 
to bop in anywhere between there, it's fine. Now you can turn the so you can turn the hook upside down or you can do a pinching loop up the way. Which I find quicker. And two or three turns to hold it. Just watch your thread. Trim away the excess and then tidy up. Now for the wing, the bronze mallard. And I've got a medium sized feather here. Reasonably coloured. Now First thing I do is remove the fine fluff at the bottom and any fibres that you don't need and then bring the fibres really about 90 degrees from the stem of the feather just bring them out and try and get the tips to kind of basically line up more so the top fibres and once you've done that just tear them off now I'm going to roll or fold these fibres to form a wing. Now the best way to do it is to fold the shorter ones or the one with the colours that are not so good at the bottom and roll it or fold in it all the way up. As you can see, you see how it's folding in itself. Keep going until you got enough to form the wing. Just bring it together. And there we are. There's one at the bottom there, but this will pull together once I tie it down. There's your length. Now you can be slightly shorter the tail or the full length of the tail. It's so not to yourself. I'm just going to be slightly short. And all we do is a nice knife edge there to tie this on. Pinch and loop. Two or three times. Tighten up for a couple of turns. To see how it's sitting. Looks okay to me. Turn away the excess. Now what I do here is I bring the thread to the eye and then build the thread turns from the eye up. Folding up a step of thread onto these cut ends and into them. You'll form a nice head if you do that. Nice and tight. And then have a look at your fly. You've got to remember the fly holes. Once it's been fished a few times or fished it's into a nice shape. You've really got to put the shape into the feathers so that it helps. And there we are. And that looks Once okay. Your ring's tied in. Now you could leave the fly as it is. Or you could add some jungle cock. Now I've got two small eyes which I've prepared. Basically remove the fibres. Just drawing them back to tie them in. Now you want them to sit into the wing itself. The jungle cock is, a, is, a, is an option, you don't need to add it, but it certainly adds to these flies, it makes them look really good and they work extremely well. Now all I do is catch in both eyes at the same time and then fold back these fibres, tuck these back, form the head, nice and tight. You can keep the thread tight and break these off. And then come in with a finish. Turn away your thread. If any missed fibres, trim them away. And there you are. That's your Dunkeld. A slight variant of the Dunkeld. Now all I have to do come in and varnish. All the way around. And you're looking at building up two or three coats of varnish. A nice head on it. And there you are. And that's there is you're done killed. Great sea trout fly as I said. But as I say, it'll catch salmon tied in a double or whatever, or even on the single. And as well it'll take the brown trout. So it's a great all round fly. And that should have killed. Mm -hmm.